welcome to my channel. Now, today is actually um a different, not weird, I was going to say weird, but it's not weird. It's a different video. I haven't did this yet, and I will probably do it a lot. Um, But, so guys, I am going to be reading the Bible and mostly explaining it. So we are starting with Genesis, and we're mostly going to keep doing Genesis till we get to the next chapter, and we're going to keep going. So, chapter 1, or Genesis, the first book of Moses called Genesis. So, the history of equation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earths. So, which means we are living in the earths, and heaven is above. But... The earth was without form and a void. The darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Um. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And, oh, okay, guys. I'm going to stop there right now. I have my light right here. And I'm going to turn it off. Now all you see is darkness, guys. And this was it. It was dark. God said, let there be light, and there was light. That's a good example. Um, also, guys, if you guys have a Bible, you guys can actually flip, flip it, flip it, you know, help me. Like, if you guys can read it with me. Now I lost where I was. Um, and then, and God saw the light, that it was good. And, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. To the e evening and the morning were the first day. Which means now, um, that, like, right now it's actually nighttime. So, they, he, he separated the day and the night. So, it goes day, it goes night. Day, night, day, night, and it's just separated. So, in other kind of countries and all that stuff, it's day. And some it's night. Each time. So, it keeps changing. It won't stop. It, it won't just be night for long. It won't be day for long. It'll keep changing. And it, was, it, just separ it keeps being separated. But it will be still, like, the same and whatever. Then God said, let there be a... A woman in the middle of the water, and let the and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus, God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament. What, what what's with that word? I can't really say it. From the waters which were above the firmament. My God, how much more? How much is in it? And it was so. And God called the Firmament, heaven, to the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathered gathering together of the waters he called seeds. And God, and God saw that it was good. So, what it is actually saying, guys, right now is, um, right now, verse 10 is when it says that God called the dry land, earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. So, what it means is, it would only be water. We will literally mostly be living in water, but God has made this earth. God has made this earth dry, a dry land. It could have water. Um, okay, so I'm sorry, guys, that it just stopped. So, anyways, um, so now, as I was saying, I forgot kind of what I was saying, but it's about where it has dry land and it has water, where we would have been living in water, but God has made this land for us. God has made everything for us. God has brought us light. We would have been, it would have been so dark in this room, but God has light this light up. This could literally go out any second, like boom, boom, but God puts lights, he gives us water, food, he gives us so many stuff, and the thing is, guys, is I want to tell you something. 
I was kind of trying to say this, but God has bought us all this stuff, but we disobey God. Why do we do that, guys? Just comment down below. Why do we do it? Why do we disobey God when he have, has gave us everything, everything in this room he has gave us? Nothing was from Satan. Satan literally tries to take over God's. So God is the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, but he is also our master. Our What I'm trying to say is that he's the boss and... I, it's hard to explain it. I'm trying to explain it, but well, God has given us all this stuff, and I know that Satan is trying to is trying to mostly say lie that he's the one giving all this stuff. He's trying to put everyone with him and not God. Someday we are gonna read it in the Bible, probably mostly, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. But it's real. What I'm trying to say is that God has flooded the earth, but he has told someone to build the ark. And I'm not going to tell you because we have. I'm going to make a video someday with it. But God has literally flooded the whole earth, killing everyone. And they're probably with Satan. So I want to tell you right now, please, please, literally know that God has given us all this stuff. Please. But anyways, let's go ahead and go start um, read it again. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yield, yield seed, seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruits according to its kind, whose seed is in self, itself on the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and that, and that, who the herb that, wait, I forgot, I was literally looking at the time, oh, no, 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 no the herb that, Yields seed according to its kind, and in the, in the trees that yields fruits, whose seed it is, is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So, so the evening and the morning were the third day. So you guys might be wondering. I'm not. I well, I don't know if you guys are wondering, but I'm wondering what they mean about so the evening and the morning were the second day, first day, third day. I want you. If you guys know, comment down below. If you guys know, if the comments are not turned off. Then God said, "Let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them." Be for signs and seasons, and for days and years, and let them for, be for light in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. So I'm going to stop at, I'm not going to read verse 17 yet, but... I feel like what they he's trying what this Bible is trying to talk is really saying that right now it's nighttime, so the night is ruling the night as it literally just said. The lesser light to rule the night. So we have a greater light that is really is ruling the day and we have the lesser light that is ruling the night. Wow, I just noticed that rhymed. But um I, th this is one I actually want to kind of do that is not really in here, but you have night and day, day and night. What goes first, day or, or night? The day, and the day is going to be God because it's always morning, always light in heaven, and there's darkness in hell. So now what I'm going to have to say is that the day is the day is going to be heaven. The day is going to be a good day. Whatever. You know when people say good day? It's a good day. Good day. Good. Good versus evil. Night is an evil. Good is light. The night is going to light. If I turn off this light, it's so dark. And I can't see anything in this room. But I can see some stuff. But I can't see anything really in this room. And... The Satan's trying to lie to us. Maybe the light, if the in the darkness of the room, 
could trip me from something, could hurt me, but the day could not. The day shows me where I'm going. God has made a day for us not to trip, not to hurt ourselves and bump into everyone. But anyways, God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth and and to rule over the day and over the night and, and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good so the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters abound with an ab abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, with, with which the waters abound abounded according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good good and god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply mul multiply and fill the waters and the seas and let birds multiply on the earth so the evening of the morning was the fifth day so that means well you see birds in the sky at night i mean i mean in the morning at day god made those god made all the creatures before human beings as everyone should know hopefully then God said, "Let the let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to its kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind." And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have do dominion over the fish of the sea, up over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. For the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the seas, over the birds of the air, and, o and over every living thing that moves on the earth. So that means, guys, that God is... T I know God is in the air. God is everywhere. He can watch the whole, whole garden. But he's telling the, the male, female, Adam and Eve... To watch the garden, watch the garden, and we are. I'm actually gonna stop here, but um, on the next part will be something about. It will actually say about um about some soon. I don't know when though. It's gonna actually say about what happened, what Adam and Eve did, and I'm not gonna tell you guys if you guys do not know. But yeah, guys. So that's the um almost chapter two so i'll read the rest of chapter uh one and then we uh, next video is going to probably be chapter two probably finishing up well you know do chapter two and god said see i have given you every herb that yields seed which is on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit yields seeds seed to you it shall be for food, also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to every that creeps on the earth in which there is life. I have given every green herb for food, and it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So that so the evening of the morning was the sixth day. So... That is a book of the chapter one of Genesis, guys. And um, if you guys have any other, like, anything you guys want, what anything that you think you, like, you don't understand, I will make a video. And I'm not going to probably bring you in it, but I will probably make a video of it. But, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and real quick play us out of this play us out of the video so please bow your head and close your eyes 
God, please help everyone heal. Please help that everyone knows the Bible and everyone just knows what you have done for this world and know that you are the one that made all this stuff for us and not Satan. And everyone, I just pray that everyone knows that Satan is a liar and Satan is just, that they don't even believe in satan and that they don't do bad stuff and we need our word to change we need everyone to be good joyful and i just pray that you just can help us all in this channel and um thank you for this oh uh, thank you for everything you have given us in your name amen so guys that is all for today's video i really hope you guys all enjoyed and i will see you on the next video